Hello friends, I am Yagnik Mehta. Today we will study a very basic simple program from subject structured programming approach. Okay, very simple basic program will start. The program that we are supposed to write is is to find a square of a number to find a square of a number first of all the computer needs a number so user has to input a number secondly computer will do its calculations square it and he has to display the number Okay, so our program basically will consist of writing the steps so that it accepts a number from the user, it carries out the calculations, then it displays the output showing the square of a number. So for that, to print any test statement, we require a function which is printf. This function is used to display the output I repeat printf function is used to display the output similarly to accept a number from the user we require another function that we are going to use is scan scanf is a function used to accept a number from user these are the two functions that we are going to study in this program and use it now for using this function they are for example stored behind a door so we need to open a door to use this so to open a door we need to open up a header file and that header file is called as stdio.h so our program starts with opening that file after writing this hash include stdio.h we are ensuring that we can use these two functions ok I will write in including or opening up another door which will be called as conio.h conio I will explain you it later what it is, why it is used and by opening this file what we can use any program when you write it has to start with a main function so next statement will be void main this is a main function void is been written so that it does not return any value hence ok now since I have started a function I will open up I opened up I will end up somewhere main function is where or it contains all the statement for executing a program ok now we need a number number I will take as an integer so computer needs to know that it is an integer so I need to define there is a variable x which is an integer ok I will also define one more variable y ok I have put up a semicolon over here after y where which and how many times it has been put up just look at that after this I want to print something so that user come to know that you number number you are supposed to enter a number so it is to be written in inverted commas enter a number again make a note of this semicolon 
Okay. Now, after entering a number, computer should know that user is going to enter a number. So he should be prepared. So this is what we are going to use. Scan. Okay. The format for using it is this way. A bit tricky, but I'll explain it. Percent is D. Make sure that computer knows that integer is going to be inputted by a user. So it's prepared for an integer. And to store that number in a variable called as x. Okay? Again, no. There's a semicolon. Now I'll tell you, if you don't put this semicolon, the program will not move to the next step. Hence, it is very important at each and every step. Now, the calculation. How will the computer calculate? So, I will first of all multiply this x with x into x. For example, 3. So, 3 into 3, 9. You get the square. But, this has to be stored somewhere else. Hence, I am taking y. Hence, I have defined y. Because, it will be stored in y. Again, a semicolon. Now, computer has done the calculation. I just need to print this. So, again, for printing, displaying, I need to use printf. Straightforward. Printf. I will write it in inverted commas. The square of a number. is again I will write percentage D I will write percentage D so that it comes to know computer that he has to print an integer percentage D stands for an integer and he will print the value that is there in Y again a symbol then I am writing a new function which is get ch again a semicolon and since I opened up here I need to close it I have closed that this completes your program now I will tell you the output of this once we see the output we understand it better we will go from computer's point of view how he understands it starts with this ok a door has been opened to use printer scans, that is computer's mind. Conio dot h. A door has been opened to use this function, get ch. Okay. Then a main function has started. He has come to this computer's mind. There are two integers, variables x, y. Then printf. He will print something on its screen. Let's draw that screen. This is your output screen. So computer has come to this part. He has to print something. Enter a number. Now it's your turn to input the number. Let's take an example. You have inputted 4. Okay. So scan it. Computer's mind is here. He has got prepared for an integer value. And you have inputted 4. He has stored it in X. Next, computer does the calculations. 4 into 4 is 16. It has been stored in Y. Okay? Now, computer is here. He will write this. The square of a number is the value is supposed to enter or print over here is again an integer which is even specified over here percentage d and what is the value in y stored recollect it is 16 so it will print 16 now i have put up a get ch what will happen if you don't put up get ch this screen will be so fast that you are unable to view this 16 also and it vanishes so to make sure that screen waits for your input and then it vanishes you are using this get ch so that 
computer waits till you input any key so that computer waits till you input any key so once you input any key this, this 